We're so high up. Where are we? In a hotel. Where? In Chicago. Oh, yeah? And we're going to the museum tomorrow. And where are we going tonight? To eat Heidi Lau? Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? The family's on a road trip. That's Annie, that's Dada and Xiao Xiao. They're going back to the academy, so we decided to go to Chicago for a couple of days before we drop them off. Do you remember our last time in Chicago, Ivy? Yeah. We were, last time we were in Chicago, we were quarantining from COVID as we left China. Tonight we're uh, taking it easy. We drove here, it's already in the afternoon, but uh, we're gonna go to Heidi Lao. Heidi Lao, one of the best hot pot chains in, in China and sporadically around the world. One of their locations is in Chicago, so we're gonna go there. If you've never heard of Heidi Lao, I feel sorry for you. But I'm gonna feel, feel sorry for myself after Heidi Lao, because I always go too crazy. We brought the dog. Parking in Chicago is crazy. The hotel charged $75 to park our car. No pub, no parking lot available for public, so you have to do valet. And then they save $75 as if it's a deal. So like $75, you can come and go as much as you please. That's one thing about China. Every big hotel has a ginormous four floor parking structure underneath. Free. Yeah, 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 yeah. 75 bucks per day. Two days. It's as, as much as the room was. Who's that guy, honey? I don't know. No, I told you his name. What's his name? Roderick. Sir Roderick. The knight. He's gonna watch over and protect us outside of the window. No. No? You don't think so? No. Ah. Is knights real? Knights? Yeah, knights are real. Really? Yeah, of course. She's gonna smell everything. There's probably a lot of dog smells around here. Yeah, All right, so water is this way. We are heading toward beach. The beach. <laughs> You're excited to be in a, city. a busy city. Yes. Yeah, Dada and Sha, yes. how does it feel to be in civilization? Very good. I feel like a barbarian. <laughs> Dada, Dada got in an elevator and he's like, what is this strange contraption lifting us up many floors of a building? What happened to stairs? <laughs> what happened to stairs? You wanna go swimming? No. No? Why? Scary. It's cold. I was watching a video series, like a documentary series, about that boat. Remember? The boat that sank? That was right around here, actually. Gosh, I'll, I'll try to link to it. Matt, future Matt, do you remember? There's just some people going on a little tour right here. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I've spent a lot of time in China. <laughs> China has a lot of cities that are of uh, this size. You know, most of Chinese history is uh, very, very long. Like we're talking like thousands of years. But the age of their modern cities are very young. The iron parts of the bridges and the infrastructure is all very uh, new. The paint is barely shipped, you know. But you go through Chicago, uh, it's, it's, it's showing its age, especially if you walk under some of these, uh, some of these bridges, which here are a ton. You can see how uh, how old the city is in comparison to the age of the cities of this caliber in China. I mean, America sprouted like New York City and some of these metropolis-style cities fairly early, you know, in in the age of those sorts of cities. And China followed up, built sort of bigger ones for larger populations, but they're a lot younger, and they learned probably from a lot of the mistakes that were made building these sorts of cities. Now the dog is a service dog, which means we can take her to places that you couldn't just take a normal pet dog. And we sort of got her the service dog thing so that she could fly here from China, which was very, very useful. But we, I was thinking that the service dog thing would come in handy here, which it does. We don't ever have to show it. <laughs> we have this card that we sort of checked all the boxes for and uh, they're like, do you have a service dog? I'm about to whip the card out. He's like, no, I don't need to see it. Is it? I says, yeah. <laughs> don't you want to see the card we worked so hard to get? I think you could probably pretty much just say, this is a service dog, and that would suffice, even if you're lying. 
No, where are you going? You're on a beach, honey. Uh -huh. You wanna go swimming? No. We can swim here, you just go ahead and swim. Look at the icicles. <gasps> wow! You guys wanna go for a swim here? I didn't even swim in the <laughs> yeah. the, the difference in the vibe of a big city versus a rural countryside or, or a, a small town or a city that we live in right now. I, I look at, the, at my family right now and they're all like, this is more of what I relate to. And I can totally understand that now. I think I ran a red light on my way in here because when you get to the center of Chicago, any of you guys know Chicago? When you get to the center of Chicago, like downtown, downtown, you start going underground. And once you go underground, you're like, it's, it looks, it very much looks like Gotham, like Batman's hometown. And uh, I don't know where I'm going. And I ended up on a one-way street and then I hit a light and I turned left thinking I was gonna turn onto a one-way street, but I turned onto a two-way street, which made me realize that I really broke the, I ran a red light and I made a false left-hand turn. <laughs> Not cool. And then parking there just now is $15. So parking on these next two days is probably gonna cost around 200, no more than 150. It's gonna cost almost $200 to park for two days. It's crazy. You're so good, Keith. <laughs> you excited? What kind of sauce do you like, Dada? You like creamy or you like creamy? creamy. I love creamy. Yeah, honey. Yeah. What is this? The red thing? That's, honey, I want you to take your jacket off, or else you're gonna get stains on it. Heidi Lao is one of my favorite restaurants, and it's notable for having like a soup in the center of the table that cooks. You like, do you like hot pot? Is that like one of your favorite Chinese dishes? Chinese styles? So there's hot soup in the middle. You can get the soup spicy or bland, whatever you want, just the base. And then you add all sorts of stuff to it. The more the merrier. And then you make your own little sauces that you dip all your cooked stuff into. This is my Coke. This is my Coke, Dad. Yep. Typically, my sauce is so full of garlic that I ruin my entire tomorrow. It's just toast. It's just too much garlic. Oh, yeah. Lovely. These are like my favorite. They're basically like a donut, and then they got condensed milk on it. Oh. You want some? Annie, Annie's always out of control when we go to Heidi Lao. Totally out of control. I'm out of control. Now you know how to make me happy. If I'm not happy, just drive me here. They're not alive though. It's okay. we gotta wait for is the soup to boil and then the fun begins. For us, eating hot pot is a lesson in uh, real estate management. We only have so much space on the table and too much food, so we have to consolidate. In China, they call this mushroom here. See you tomorrow. It's so undigestible that the way it goes in is exactly the way it comes out. So you'll be seeing it tomorrow. Oh yeah. Yeah, Ming Tin, yeah. Ming Tin, yeah. Basically, I try and put, separate my sauces. So I'll put some in the, I'll test them. You have two sauces, right? Yeah. Which one's better? Uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, right? The spicy one. This one is like the good, a little creamier. What happened?
happens when the spoons fall to the bottom? Phase two. Phase two. Phase two, the spoons fall to the bottom. And phase three is everything goes chaotic. Hi, This is the uh, Monkey King theme song. So the first stage is you got the iPad and then you order way too much. Yeah. Or you order everything you see. Yeah. The second stage is spoon start at all end because you you guys are all very excited at eating everything. Yeah. Ma ma mainly everything. The third stage is there's too much thing on the table, so you gotta throw everything. Yeah, you gotta clear some space. And then the fourth stage is there's still a lot of things floating in, but nobody's eating. Right, right, and they just sort of then, they just sort of swirl around. Yeah, and then everyone chats until they're like, you know what, we're just gonna leave. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is four stages of. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, you just see it pop up, and you're like, I should eat that, and then it goes back down. And you're like, but I shouldn't. And I should eat that, but I shouldn't. Annie's getting seconds. Yeah. Eva's going on the rampage. He's going, she's going crazy. Hi, hey, Eva. Don't touch it with your bare hands, honey. Violates your rule, right? We just had a no. This is more. this just loops back to number two. <laughs> loops back to number two until it gets to stage yeah, four. Yeah. Are you crazy, AB? I did not even eat the meat, and the meat is all gone. Eva's a Heidi Lau all star. She's demolishing it. Once you use your sauce completely, and you feel like you need a reload, you you evolve the sauce. So you use. Whatever's left in your little dipping sauce, and then you go to add to it, you can convert it, you can add spice, reduce spice. I added some sesame sauce, I added some beef, and I added some uh, onions, and some, some more sesame sauce, because I really like that. There will be like more of the soup that's added to your sauce. Right, right, right. And so like all the things that are cooked that's inside. In there is now in there. Yeah, this is why you, you get a scoop and yeah. then add the soup in it. Marinated. But I think I added way too much to it. I'm a little bit bothered. We eat the best in Eva eats more than most adults. I don't know where she puts it. Uh, she's a monster. Do you like eating here? Tasty? I feel bad for the water. There comes a time in every hot pot, hot pot experience where you have to come to the reality that there's just no way you're going to put anything more inside your belly. I think that's it, Dada. I don't think there's any more. We actually normally, Dada was saying, we normally get to the point where there's food floating around in there that you want, but you don't want it because you're too full. We have like literally, we bypassed that. We've literally eaten everything in that everything in there yeah so here are about 350 dollars in china this has been about 250 dollars so not too much different we got a lot of food a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot yeah. last time we went there was seven people and then we end up paying like 700 like rmb or something like that which is pretty good yeah and we ordered like a lot you, you think you're full until they offer ice cream, and then you're like, I got a little room. I got a little room. Free ice cream or coffee always finds a little bit of room in your body where you're like, okay, okay. Wow. Thank you. We did it. We made it. In China, Heidi Lao is re regarded as like the best customer service of any Chinese restaurant. It's like their claim to fame. Annie and I had Heidi Lao in China and when we went we ordered so much 
that the waiter said it's not possible. You then I told him if I finish all you have to pay. It's, I, I am pretty sure we can finish that. And we did. We were rock stars. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, oh, oh. About thirty. About thirty food dishes. Amazing. Oh boy. Heidi Lao is the type of place that you make exceptions for. Especially if you haven't gone in a while. You make an exception to go to Heidi Lao. On my diet. My body will not appreciate it, but I do. What I need some massage, body massage. Yeah, we were saying that. In, in Asia, what you would do after Heidi Lao Today is you would go a to a big, huge massage place where they'd have like tons maybe of... I'm, yeah, maybe I'm too full. I can only go to the foot massage. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when I'm in Canton yeah, Fair. Yeah. We have okay. huge dinner and then foot massage because you eat too much. You yeah. cannot lay down, yeah, 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 do yeah. your massage. They'd, they'd soften you up or they'd work on your feet, have some tea, and that? sit in the chair while they bring well, out, the big, like they bring out that big wooden bucket. You know, uh, that wood, big wooden barrel, put some salts in it. Yeah, I don't think that's a, that, that would work here in the West. I think that's a labor thing. I think it's easier to employ people for less in Asia to work in those places. I don't think it would work here. We'll have a nice day at Chicago tomorrow. That that would go to the museum, eat to Sue. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go to the museum tomorrow and see Sue the T-Rex. Sue found her? Yeah, Sue is the woman that found the, the bones of this T-Rex that's... It's probably and one I know of the most why intact. she died because she had a jaw infection. Then she cannot eat and she died. Oh, the the actual dinosaur? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Dinosaur. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Pretty cool. 他那个牙龈。